Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick review on one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I just purchased this not too long ago, maybe a month or two ago, and I'm like obsessed with it. I'm loving it. Um, the first few times I wore it, I was like, mm, not really sure how I feel about this, but now that I've just gotten to play around with it and stuff, I just love this foundation. So this foundation is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation with Comfort Serum. I think that there was one other Rimmel foundation I've tried, and I can't think of the name of it, but it was a long time ago, and I actually really like that one too. So I can't say I'm shocked that I love this one, but you see 25 hour, and to me that's kind of like, what are you trying to hide by saying your 25 hour foundation? I just don't trust you. So this foundation on the back says it's a full coverage foundation enriched with a comfort serum, instant perfect coverage that lasts all day, sweat, heat, humidity, and transfer proof for up to 25 hours. I have to say that I mostly agree with that. Um, this is very full coverage. I have it on today. I do have obviously like highlighter and blush on of course, but um, I do have it on today. It looks super, super natural and flawless. I love this foundation. It makes my skin just look really pretty. Um, I don't have to put a lot of effort into this. I can just slap this on and I just, I love it. I use it normally with my Sigma F80 brush or my Real Techniques buffing brush. Either one works. I actually use the buffing brush today and I think I like that a little bit more than the F80. The Sigma F80 tends to pick up a lot of the product, so it kind of soaks it into the brush. Whereas the Real Techniques one, it just like glided onto my skin. It was just beautiful. You don't need a lot of this product at all. I mean, it just covers everything. It's beautiful. The color I'm currently wearing is 203 True Beige. I got mine at Target and this was the darkest shade that I could find there. I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> I don't know if they do have more shades, but Target just doesn't carry them or what, but this was the darkest shade I could find and it matches me pretty well right now since I am still pretty tan from the summer. Um, but I don't know, I'm like looking, I find that when I wear this foundation, I can't stop looking at my skin. Is That's weird, that's probably weird. But I just think my skin looks beautiful my blush and bronzer lay beautifully on top of this powder sets beautifully on top of this when i first started using this i did find that i felt it like you could feel it on your skin if you touched your face which you're not supposed to but if you touched your face like you could feel it it was kind of sticky so recently i've been setting this with a powder like today i use my rimmel stay matte powder and i love it that way like i feel like i'm not wearing anything on my face as far as it being transfer proof, I guess I haven't really tested that part of it out. But I don't know, like nothing comes off on my skin. So it's really cheap. I think I got it for like seven bucks at Target. And yeah, have I tested it for 25 hours? No. Do I think it would last 25 hours? It probably would. I don't think it would look as good as this obviously, but I think it would last, honestly. I mean, this feels to me like my Revlon, what's the whipped? Photo Ready Whipped or something? It's the one in the jar. I love that drugstore foundation. Love, love, love it. Um, this reminds me a lot of that. The coverage, the staying power, the look that it gives my skin. I just love this. So highly recommend this foundation. Um, I really don't know what else I can say about it. I mean, it's just good. So yeah, so if you guys are looking for a new drugstore foundation, I would definitely give this one a shot. It is, like I said, really inexpensive. You can find it anywhere and you might just love it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.